They were freed from the notorious Guantanamo Bay Detention Center in Cuba, only to pick up arms against the U.S. once again, killing Americans overseas. A U.S. official tells CNN that an estimated 15 freed Gitmo detainees, all released before 2009, went on to attack Americans in Afghanistan. The number of Americans killed in those attacks is in the single digits. The threat was first brought to light during testimony on Capitol Hill this March. How many lives have been lost by those terrorists who went back to their terrorist activity? Unfortunately, there have been Americans that have died. The U.S. has been aware of the high recidivism rate of released Gitmo detainees for some time. In the most recent U.S. report of the 676 detainees released from Gitmo as of January, 118 have returned to the fight, and a further 86 are suspected of returning. That's nearly one out of every three released. But as the Washington Post first reported, this is the first time U.S. officials have confirmed that freed detainees targeted and killed Americans. We don't want anybody to die because we transfer detainees. However, it's the best judgment and the considered judgment of this administration and the previous administration that the risk of keeping Gitmo open is outweighed that we should close Gitmo. One consistent challenge has come from foreign governments losing track of the former detainees. However, the political challenge is clear for President Obama, who vowed to close Gitmo just days after he first assumed office. I hereby order that Guantanamo will be closed uh, no later than one year from now. Opposition on Capitol Hill and within the Pentagon since then has delayed closure by years. This new information likely to provide more ammunition to critics just months before his presidency ends. People on the Hill, people in the American public are going to look at this and they're going to say, uh, the minute that you release somebody, no matter what the statistics are, the risk is too great. And uh, the fact that they've killed Americans uh, is the most damning of all. Now, the Obama administration claims that it has done a better job than the Bush administration, both vetting the detainees its releases arranging for their imprisonment or surveillance after returning to their home countries or others willing to accept them. That's at least the Obama administration's claim. I should mention that of these 15 detainees, the U.S. believes that nine of them are either dead now, they've been killed in strikes or in fighting, or they're now in the custody of foreign governments.